I welcome you to this lesson, Primary 6 members, and the, we are still looking at data handling as a topic. So, in data handling, we are going to look at the, in weeks, in our lesson 6, we are going to look at the circle graphs, stroke pie charts. So, circle graphs is the same as the pie charts. And here is the a diagram showing us these subgraphs. Here in the first column we are having fraction, in the second we are having percentage and in the third we are having the degrees. So in when you talk of subgraphs we can talk it in terms of fractions, in terms of percentages and in terms of degrees. So when it is this way is a circle and it is a whole in terms of percentage is 100 percent then in terms of degrees it is one complete revolution which is 360 degrees then we have a half of it a half of a whole then a half of 100 percent is 50 percent a half of 360 degrees is 180 degrees then we have a quarter of a whole then a quarter of 100 percent is 25 percent a quarter of 360 degrees is 90 degrees so here we have talked of we are talking of some graphs in terms of a whole in terms of percentages and in terms of degrees so let's look at example one here we are it goes the pie chart below shows the grades obtained in the PLA in a, in a class of 180 pupils. So this is this pie chart is showing the performance of a certain class which was having 180 pupils. And here we are the first grade. Those are who got first grade. They have given us the, the value of first grade is y. Inside the first grade is y. The second grade, they are giving us degrees, 150 degrees, and in the third grade, they are giving us a symbol. That symbol is here, like this. So, at the moment, they are not showing they are not the degrees there, but we know that when you are looking at right angles, this symbol here is a symbol for 90 degrees. Once you find the symbol here, this symbol here, over the right angle, is a symbol for 90 degrees. So here, the degrees that are being represented by third grade is 90 degrees. So here, we go to part A of the question. It says, find the value of y. Find the value of y. So here, to get this value of y, we are going to get y, we add 150 degrees, and we add the 90 degrees which are here, I repeat, here I am saying 90 degrees because of this symbol for right angle. And the right angle is equal to 90 degrees. So that is why I am saying plus this 90. And we equate to 360 degrees. Why are we equating to 360 degrees? Because here they have given us each sector here in terms of degrees. That's why I am saying we are equating to 180, sorry, to 360 degrees. So we shall say why plus 150 degrees plus the 90 degrees here giving us 360 degrees where am I going to, where am I getting the 360 degrees it is the one which makes up the, the whole of it the circle which is 360 degrees so they are here then to get the value of y now we are adding 150 plus 90 degrees we come up with 240 is equal to 360 degrees so it is now y plus 240 degrees minus 240 degrees is equal to 360 degrees minus 240 degrees so y is equal to here, 240 degrees minus 240 degrees, you come up with the zero. Then what about 360 minus 
240. Let's have side work here. 360 minus 240. So here 0 minus 0, 0. 6 minus C4, it is 2. Then 3 minus 2, 1. So it is 120 degrees. So y is equal to 120 degrees. The value of y is 120 degrees. Part B of the question says, how many pupils passed in first grade? How many pupils passed in the first grade? Then you come to the first grade. In the first grade, we are having one. And good enough, we have still to get the value of y as 120 degrees. So this sector is being represented by 120 degrees. So to get the value of, to get the number of children who pass in the first grade, we are going to get the degrees for this sector here. First grade is now 120 degrees out of the total degree, we can make up a pie chart. Which is it? 360 degrees times the number of children who search for per E. Which is it? 180 pupils. 180. So it is now 120 out of 360 times 180. So here we are going to divide. And here dividing. So this is 180 pupils. 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 Here we are going to divide this is zero and this is zero. Then we can divide here by 12 divided by 12. You get 1. 36 divided by 12. It is 3. Then here, 3 divided by 3 is it 1. Here, we are saying 18 divided by 3, you get 6. Then 0 divided by 3 is it 0. So here, you come up with 60 pupils. So there are 60 pupils which pass in the first grade. Part C. How many pupils pass in the second grade? How many pupils pass in the second grade? So you got the pie chart here. The second grade is having 150 degrees. 115 degrees out of the total which is 360 degrees times the total number of children who sat for PLE which is 180 pupils 150 divided by out of 360 times 180 pupils then here you can divide can you write a zero in the a zero? Then we look for a number of can be divisible by this and this. We can be divided by 36 and 180. So the number is 18. A 36 divided by 18, you get 2. Then 18 divided by 18 here is 1. Then 0 divided by 18 is 0. We come up with 10. Here, 2 divided by 2, 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. You remain with 15 times 5. 15 times 5. It is same work. 15 times, times 5 is a little vertical. 5 times 5 is 25, you write 5, and we group 2, 5 times 1, it is 5 plus 2, 7. So here, 
Yeah, so it's 75. 75 more equals first in the second grade. Uh, the last part says how many pupils passed in third grade? How many pupils passed in third grade? Third grade, we have 90 degrees there. So you can say 90 degrees out of 360 degrees times the total number of children we start for PLP, which is 180 pupils. So from here, you can now divide the, okay, let me repeat, times 180. We can divide here 0 with a 0 Then 9 divided by 9 here 9 divided by 9 is 1 Then 36 divided by 9 is 4 Then here we can say 4 divided by 2 is 2 18 divided by 2 is 9 0 divided by 2 is 0 2 divided by 2 is 1 here, 95, 9 divided by 2. You say 9 divided by 2. You get 4. Then the remainder is 1. The remainder, we put it here, however, we don't write it here. It becomes 10. 10 divided by 2, you get 5. 